that settled the most handsome Yekebo African outstanding pepperoni sugarlicious husband. And today I have beside me my scintillating pepperoni sugarlicious shapey girl. On today's show, I'm Jacket Oluan Cetro, and we are always happy having you coming back every time to the Cetro's vlog family. Yes, if you're not a part of this family, please, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe and press the notification bell so you'll be notified of our latest videos. I want to say thank you to all that have been liking, commenting, sharing, tweeting, retweeting. Please don't stop a big thank you goes to all our patrons and supporters on this channel and you can actually be part of our patrons for as low as three dollars per month the patron link is in the description box below and don't forget to follow us on instagram setros blog our twitter and setros blog on facebook we're setros blog and we have a backup channel setros tv please do follow that channel so it's happened that uh this story that we're talking about today is with mixed feeling, it's ambivalent, as in, oh, uh, there's this story of this beautiful lady from Africa in Nigeria, to be precise, from North Central States, Far State. Uh, she's blue high, and her husband saw her and got married to her that way. All of a sudden, when the lady just started having babies, started having babies with blue eye, and the man just suddenly discovered that what's happening, and the man had to pick to his race and run and left the lady all alone. In the Objection to that. I don't usually want to believe a one-sided story, and that is why I'm going to be contrasting my wife on this matter. To start with, I don't want to believe that this man ran away from the house. Why? Because I want to believe the fact that this man saw this pretty, unusual, African, well-skinned, well-blessed, specially gifted eyeball of a lady before he asks for her hand in marriage. And for him to be married to this lady, to the extent that they've given birth to about two children, that should mean something. So, but in case you are listening to us, why is this something worthy of being talked about? Is the fact that in Africa, we are not used normal African curvature, systematic shapiness and beautiful, you know, magnificent look. We don't usually have blue eyeball. Normally, what we have is the type that I have here that whenever I look at it, it, it sends a, a kind of twinkle, twinkle, little star signal into my eyeball. Like even when I want to get angry with her, once you just look at me with that eyeball, I'll be like, whoa, this is, this is set to river. So, and let me tell you, it's even scared, uh, it's even scarce to see somebody with this kind of brownish thing. <laughs> ah, no, 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 you don't understand. You don't, I don't want to praise her too much so that her hair will not be swallowing up. Now, but this man got a special gift in this beautiful lady. That lady is supposed to be a what a, an outstanding African model. If anybody is listening to this video, you might as well need to what look for how to contact this lady and begin to use her as one of the best, as in highly significant African model with a simple touch of oceanic blue eyes. Some persons in uh, Lagos, some eyebrow people, even ladies, used to go uh, paying to get their... Let me tell you, in Africa, especially Nigeria, in a particular part of the Lagos called Leki, most of these ladies spend thousands of naira to what to buy artificial retina, artificial eyeball, uh, eye contact rather, that is blue, so that they can have that blue ocean, oceanic blue effect. Now, this guy is having access to this one, always sleeping beside you, waking up, cooking your food with this blue retina, beautiful oceanic, ocean tinted eyeball. But this man never understood the fact that he is opportune to have a wife and a uh, is it children, children now children that are gifted with this beautiful eyeball if that man was to be well educated i would have advised him to go and learn photography and start taking the picture of the beautiful family that god has gifted him with and before he knows it Different modeling houses will be calling for him to that supply us this your beautiful, you know, give us, grant us access rather, grant us access to this your beautiful home whereby we can begin to model our clothing line, our beautiful products 
But instead, this man, the news has it that he ran away from the family. He neglected them also. I think what is actually the challenge here is the knowledge gap. I think he doesn't really know. Maybe it feels he's a kind of sickness or something because maybe he just saw the wife that, ah, this lady is beautiful. He got wedded to the lady. I never knew that as I saw this lady, that's how the children will also be. So maybe when he started seeing it, maybe he felt it's something uh, sickness or what nobody knows because we've not gotten access to the man. Might be that. You know, this African thought pattern for those that are not well exposed, they might begin to think that, ah, is this not uh, having a spiritual undertone? You know, how can the eyes of the children be blue? How can the eyes of the distant be blue? They can begin to even start associating it with marine. Mm. But let me tell you, that man just need a good education so that it can sit down because i'm not an advocate of a family being spilled and the likes remarrying and all those stuff you know the husband you live today and the new one you are jumping to you might find out when it's too late that even the one that you have you have left might even be better than the one that you have jumped to so i always want to believe in what making sure that families stay together they love each other they learn more about each other and they always run from parental family, extended family interference. Now, this man needs to be educated that that precious gift of a wife that he has got is something that he should not lose. But you know what? If I have the opportunity, I would have loved to listen to the man and the woman separately and bring them together and listen to them talk. That is when I will find out the real uh, challenge because I don't want to believe that this man ran away so, after impregnating. When he was impregnating, when he was in the process of impregnation, he did not know that it was blue eye that his nose was touching. It is now when the blue blue has delivered babies. Do you know that when she was, she said, uh, when you listen to her video, she said that when she was even pregnant, she was just left like that. There was no food. She had to even go to her parents and all the likes. Do you want to... But you know what? I, I don't really like to hear this. Whenever I hear uh, men maltreating women, I get so annoyed. It's not something that I want to condone. I'm not blaming this man because I've not seen him physically to know exactly if this is true. But if this is true, that is totally irresponsible it is nonsensically nonsensically defined you know why i'm always ash when it comes to men treating maltreating women is because i witness my own dad maltreating my mom and that is why i promise myself i will never allow this happen to my own wife my own family so whenever i see any man Ah, no, no, don't tempt me. Whenever I see any man maltreating a woman, regardless of what that woman has done, I'm so sorry. I can physically attack that man. I, I'm telling you this. I can physically attack that man to protect the woman because it's something that affected my psyche and I cannot just comprehend it. How will you, somebody that you love, you claim you love and you brought... No, 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 no. People don't even try it. I will be around and you are maltreating your wife. I don't care whether it's your wife. Just make sure I'm not around because I will rescue that woman. And in the process of trying to rescue the woman, if you get in my way, I'll give you chokwando. So let's just have your comments. Let's have your comments in the comment section. This is a touchy word. We don't really know what went wrong. And I would like to pass this that as Africans or whatever color, whatever race, just be grateful for and let you your are. mind have an open ended mind. Do you know that while I was still single, as in when I was still much more younger, I was not even freaked by white. I don't love white, uh, as in fair guys. God, maybe God knows that's why it just gave me this my chocolatey black or what I was about to ask. My subscribers, should I tell you the truth? Me, I love white. <laughs> I love, when I say white, I love somebody that is fair. Yeah. I love yeah. her that she's fair. <laughs> but I'm not compulsory that the this thing. But I love, no, no, no. So you have to watch our marriage I, series, I love, I love to have a fair lady. And I wanted to marry an Igbo or Calabar girl. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm yeah. telling you the truth. I love to marry, I didn't love to marry Yoruba, but this is my wife. She just looks like somebody that is not Yoruba. Hey! I love, I love, I love the way she looks. 
pointed flat nose. And you know what? Don't let me talk too much. When we are doing our marriage series, you hear a whole lot about this, my hot babe. So that's just it. So please, we'd like you to comment. And we want Africans, whatever race you have, be grateful for who you are. Don't try to change yourself. God that made you knows what is good for you. So just be grateful the way you are. Be grateful and learn to appreciate others for who they are. Don't don't just feel you are the best. I see some, and this this is a, a type of warning for we Africans. We like to say this tribe. You know one thing. I'm from uh, the western part of uh, uh, Africa in Nigeria, and some the, the eastern part they they do, they do like uh, people to be from their tribe. So when I go to the market and they say, ah, I think you are Igbo, they start speaking Igbo to me. They'll say, ah, the western is not this, it's not that. No, we are all the same. We are of all the, we are of all one father. Let me say it that the way. The challenge is what, I'm just, I'm just thinking, what could this man be thinking in his mind now? Because, you know the funniest of, now he has sent uh, the family, he has sent the wife, the family away out of the house, or they are, they are no more staying together. But let me tell you, the governor's wife of that particular state discovered this story. Now decided to follow up on the wife. The first lady of that state has sent money to that wife. Is even uh, planning to give her full time employment, and they are also trying to what involve her in a particular training, you know, to empower her. Wow, the question, and they have also promised to what to send the kids to what to school to sponsor them. Now the question is, wherever this man is, will he will he come back and say? I want to take care of my family again. <laughs> How possible will that be? And that is why whatever condition you see your spouse going through, it's not always good for you to leave. You can't leave at that point. You cannot. You are not even expected to leave. The only reason why I will say, okay, if anybody wants to leave, you might leave. It's not. I'm not advising you to leave. It's when the guy, when the opposite gender is physically abusing you because if he kills you there, you are dead. And whosoever is dead is not married again. So, but if it has not come to that, maybe your spouse is going through one challenge or the other. Remember the oath. You said in sickness and in health, in poverty and in what? In riches. So always stand by each other because you will always need the company of the other. And love is beautiful when you can what? When you can calm down and be there when you are needed the most. So that's just it. Let's, let's have a comment in the comment section below. What do you feel about this? What do you feel about we being grateful about how we've been made and complimenting each other? So remember our therapy on this channel is the joy therapy. We'd we'll love to meet you safe and sound and joyful when we come with our next video. So please make sure you're joyful. Whatever you're going through, our own joy comes from above. You can inbox us to know why we're still happy despite all that is happening all over the And way. if you are going through any marriage challenge, I tell you, just find a way of getting in touch with me. Let me give you some kind of African-centric love coach. Because like this woman now, even this woman that is angry with the wife, with the husband that he, he has not been taking care of them, there are some things I would tell this husband. Go and tell her. Instantly, they will, they will go back to their marriage. Uh, listen, they will continue their marriage. You know, something like, you know, ever since I broke up with you, my life has not been operating under the or uh, accumulation of the abasbization of the accumulandum. And since I want to get my life back, I want to continue to see this your oceanic flake eye so that it can continue to bake my cake and make my juice. Please, if we leave, Mr. Setro is just going to continue this way. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the notification bell. Until we come in the next video, we remain the Setros. We love you. Catch you. Bye-bye. You may like to watch this video or this.